Hello everybody, Bobby B here, and in this video I am going to go into explaining about my intermittent fasting. It's the way that I'm eating. It's not really a diet, it's more of just the timing of when I'm eating my meals. Now what exactly is intermittent fasting? It's when you pick a window to eat. Um, some people are doing the 16-8 or the 24 or the... Um, six hour window, so I'd be like 18 six. So basically you say, say you get up at six in the morning and you go four hours before you have your first meal, so you have your first meal around 10, and then you're gonna pick that window, which for most people, eight hours works pretty good. So you're gonna have two or three meals during that eight hour window, and then you're not gonna eat again for the next 16 hours, which is gonna allow you to have a 16 hour fast. And that's gonna get you into a fat burning state. Now, what I'm doing is I'm doing a combination of intermittent fasting and then when I choose my meals, sometimes I'll use something that might come from one of the diets, like maybe doing a shake, uh, doing a juice, maybe doing some raw food. Um, a lot of the times I'm just going really low carb, really high fat, medium protein. Um, I'm not doing, I'm trying not to snack during the daytime. Um, every once in a while I'll find something that's got a lot of sugar in it. I'll make sure that that's timed with some with one activity where I'm going to be burning off a lot of calories. Um, I do carb up before my workouts. If, I'm knowing, if I know I'm going to get into a really hardcore workout, I'll carb up a little bit. But I don't get carried away so that I'm not storing anything away as extra fat. Now, as far as some of the food choices I make, because I'm going more on this high-fat diet, I'm into the nuts, the seeds, the cheeses, dairy... Um, I don't drink milk, but I like dairy products. Try to get the organic, antibiotic-free, hormone-free type if you can. Um, I like to eat the chicken with the skin, just not deep fried. I prefer the dark meat. It tastes better and it's got the fat in it. Um, fish, the cold water fishes. Um, we've got the olives, the avocados. So man, I could live off of avocados. And then when it comes to the protein, a lot of people, they tend to eat too much protein and when you do your body if it doesn't use all the protein it's going to turn it into sugar and if you don't need the sugar it's going to turn it into fat so you can actually gain weight by eating too much protein so i don't really recommend a high protein diet and i don't recommend a high carb diet i recommend uh, lower carb lots of vegetables when it comes to the vegetables we're talking about get the colors you got the greens the light greens the dark greens you got the reds the oranges the yellows the whites, the purples, so just mix up the variety of your vegetables. Um, don't worry about the meats as far as being fatty, more about whether they're organic, hormone-free type um, foods. Um, fishes coming natural from the ocean versus farm-raised. Um, eggs, free-range chickens, things like that. Um, if you are going to eat carbs, plant-based. If you're going to eat fruit, don't have too many. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, I eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. Then I'd be eating like four pieces of fruit and like one vegetable. It's totally backwards. You want to eat one fruit, four vegetables. Um, other than that, if you have any specific questions about recipes or more uh, food choices, uh, get back to me on that one. I'm trying to make this video kind of short, so I don't want to go into detail too much. But just to recap, Intermittent fasting, I try to go as long as I can without eating a meal when I first get up. I do have coffee, and when I have coffee, I consider that basically my first meal, and I put a lot of half and half sugar-free, and my body's in that fat-burning state because I've been burning fat while I'm sleeping, so when I wake up in a fat-burning state and I drink my coffee, which has the fat, I continue to stay in a fat-burning state. I'm not spiking my insulin levels up too much, and then carbon for my second meal and then I have my third meal which usually is a pretty good sized meal for dinner and then going to bed and re repeating that side again that fat burning stage and try to stay in that fat burning stage for a minimum of 16 hours if possible or actually have that 16 hour window of not eating so that you can be burning some fat sometime within after you get done burning off that excess food which you might not have burned off before you go to bed. Anyhow, any questions, hit me up. Thank you, and have a blessed day.